Good afternoon, I'm Pamela Johnson Betts. Mm -hmm. And where were you born and raised? I'm a native Topeka and I was born right here in Topeka, Kansas. I was raised in Topeka, Kansas. Um, always lived on the east side. Uh, my dad lived on the east side. My grandparents lived on the east side. Um, my mother was not from here, but that is where we uh, chose to make our life. It sounds like you have a long family history. Do you know when your father's family came here? You know, I'm not sure. Um, I think that actually my grandmother was born and raised here too. So um, her older sister, they were from Detroit, it was my remembrance anyway. Mm -hmm. But they'd lived here for quite a while. Experience in that from first grade through eighth grade, I attended Topeka Lutheran School. My mother was Lutheran. She hadn't been born in Topeka. She was born in Alma, Kansas, a small community that's about 30 miles west of here. Mm -hmm. And her family there were Lutheran, which is kind of unusual. But when we came here, she maintained Lutheran. My dad stayed as a Baptist, so we had a split religion family. But nonetheless, we were very religious. Christianity was a key in our household. So at Topeka Lutheran, first through eighth, mm -hmm. and after that, uh, ninth grade at East Topeka Junior High, so I was back in my neighborhood where I had grown up and then to Topeka High School and graduated from Topeka High. Topeka Lutheran was a vast difference from the neighborhood that I lived in and my kindergarten year where I experienced um, just teachers that looked like me, the principal that looked like me, uh, all of them knew my family. My school was one block from my house and usually we had teachers or the principal that came over. We knew each other uh, very well. I was then sent to Lutheran school and I went from being uh, in a group of many African Americans to being the only African American in my class. So. It was, um, I think, even as a first grader, I recognize that there is a big difference. Mm -hmm. I um, can't say I disliked it. We all played together. It was kind of the same thing until I remember probably sixth grade is when I knew that it was really different. Although I had an experience before that. I think in third grade, one of my classmates came to me and said to me, does your dad drive a falcoon? Falcoon. Falcoon. I knew immediately that that was some kind of inference, that it was race related. Right. And fortunately, I had a mother that was quite savvy and I think ahead of her time because she was a woman that never bit her tongue and I think I've turned out a lot like her. Mm -hmm. So even then, I was able to respond to that little kid, uh, no, but does yours drive a paddy wagon? So the lines were kind of drawn at that time where I knew that I had to stand my ground. Wasn't really bad. Mm -hmm. I was received well. I was popular. I had friends. But I knew at that time that if I didn't stand up for myself that that could continue to be bad. I remember going home though and saying that story and my mother was not real pleased with me because she thought she had sent me to a Christian school for a, relit for a reason. Right. She thought I would respond in a more turn the other cheek way. But I think silently and maybe subconsciously, she didn't allow me to know it, but I think she was pleased that I was able to stand up. Remember just those little incidents? Yeah, think? all in all it was uh, an experience that was positive. Mm -hmm. I was invited to join the Girl Scouts, the Brownie Troops. I was invited into homes to, for um, slumber parties. So it, all in all, it was not anything that was bad. I, I, I think I did have one experience with a teacher and I felt then, that was seventh grade, that the experience was because of my race, but perhaps it was because I was a, a kid that spoke up too.